Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 2. Yep, we're going in the workshop. We're clicking this secret button because we are continuing with the Polybridge classic worlds in Polyception. And last time we finished Snowdrift, which means we're on to world four. You know what that means. A whole new world. A new fantastic selection of bridges. We must bridge the gap. By using trusses and show those architects scum. Oh, do what? No, don't worry. I'm not doing. I'm not doing the women. I'm <laughs> uh, but yeah, shall we? Shall we just get into it? I mean, we did actually start this level last time with the balloon jump. But um, yeah. So we're on level four two triple decker. We've got eighty four grand, a load of resources, yeah, and it looks like we've literally just got to build a triple decker bridge. So we'll turn the grid on. We'll then build road over to there. And I feel like something like that is probably the sensible way to do this. It might be too expensive though, so we'll copy that up to there, and then we'll just fill in the top section of road. Um, and I'm not convinced it's going to be strong enough. Off. We might have to put some wall braces in, but let's just press. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not even strong enough to hold itself. Yeah, so there's two things we can do. We think we can try and put like a wall brace in, or actually, I'm sort of thinking since we have these anchors, perhaps we could use a bit of rope. Like if we were to do, I don't know, something like that, then it just means that this this point's going to be supported. Yeah, look, it holds itself. Oh, look at the van! Look at the van! No. <laughs> okay, well that worked quite a lot better than I thought it would. Perhaps we could put in. We just turn the grid off. Make sure that's properly against the wall. That's just going to act as a very very small wall brace which could give everything a little bit more strength will it be enough though oh look it's breaking oscar well one other thing i sort of want to try before i get like too too involved that's 51 grand let's just see if i were to remove all of this so we're down to the bare essentials let's have a little go with steel now obviously i couldn't trust from there up to there because can you see the wood it's not long enough we don't have a long enough wood to complete this level that's what she said <laughs> However, if we were to use steel, you can go much further with that. So we could do something like that, which works out pretty nicely in terms of length. What are we on? 29 grand. And then because that's going to be a joint, if we just do like straight bits of wood, because wood is cheaper than steel. So we end up with this sort of thing. And then if we copy that to the top, we're over our previous budget. I and mean, we don't even know if this works. So let's press play. Okay, it, it didn't work at all. Fair enough. The theory was, because the weight in this game is done on a number of nodes, there's a lot less nodes there, so this should weigh a lot less. And obviously, with the steel being stronger, I thought it might work, but obviously I was wrong. Never mind. Now, another principle we could try, let's get rid of everything. And we sort of know that an arch is stronger than, like, a straight. So if we were to do something like that and fill that with road, boosh, copy that up each time, and then try trussing this. So we've ended up with this. Let's try try just seeing if it holds itself. No, it doesn't. Uh, to be expected though, uh, but with this, with this bit of a curve, we can make a stronger under arch. So I'm sort of thinking if we use rope down to there, because rope's good in tension, then perhaps we can sort of like muscle up to there. So that's going to take a lot of the weight of the bridge. I sort of, I want to take a bit more though. All right, so I've came up with a concoction of like muscles and trusses and rope and even a little bit of reinforced road on the very end, just because there's a lot of weight coming down this bit of road. So if we press play, it holds itself. Will it hold the vehicle. Oh, it's looking good. It is looking good. Stress 99. Oh, no. That was actually close. Let's watch this with the stress on. So as things go red, you can see how stressed they get. Look at that bit of road there. I'll tell you what, if I just make that reinforced road and that reinforced road, that could actually do it. So the very end piece is going bright red. Oh, no. Yeah, that end piece is going red. Because uh, basically, once all the vehicles get to the middle, they're sort of all their weight is going straight down. And it's literally, it's just crushing them. I wonder. I've seen this done in like on other ones. I've put like cat flaps in to try and slow them down just so they get spread out a bit more. So there we go. Look, the car's going first. And then car's past the middle. Taxi's in the middle. Nice. Taxi's already over. So now it's just this one to go. Oh, I've cheesed it. I've actually cheesed it. That is the key. Uh, before we go too far, though, let's try and get that price down because we're on 57 grand. That's a lot of money. Um, and I sort of feel like there's a quite easy way to make this better. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but uh, this truss, it's probably got too many pieces. Like if we if we actually watch this, like look how green the trusses stay. So as the weight's in the middle, pretty much all the trusses are green. Like even at the bottom, the whole, the whole trust is green. It's just the roads that are going red. So what I want to know is, can I remove like 
every other one of those because that shouldn't change the stability. And yeah, so those two cars have got over. Can this still make it over? Yeah, you can see the top bit of road going very red now, but that worked. So top layer, much cheaper. Can we do the same with the bottom layer? I'm not entirely convinced. Okay, that worked. That actually worked. That worked fine. We're down to 54 grand. I wonder, can I make the under here a bit better? Like, do I need all of that? So I've made these supports a lot shorter, which basically means we're not supporting as much of the bridge in the middle. I feel like this might be a step too far, but we'll see what happens. Stress is on. Oh, stress is like, stress is lower, if anything. What? Well, can I then get rid of those? Surely not. Surely not. Okay, this is unexpected. I mean, surely I do need wall braces, right? I can't just get rid of them. We're on 98% stress. Oh, it's so stress. It's actually working though. I've saved like 10 grand. I didn't need the wall braces. I mean, I feel like I def I need these, right? Surely. If I get rid of the reinforced road down there. Yeah, look, that's going to pop. That is going to pop. Surely. What are we on? 99%? Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. All right, so that is very efficient. The only thing I can think to do next is make these dangly bits of road a bit shorter, save a little bit of money, but I don't want to mess up the timings. So I think we'll just go with that. 46,487 quid. Technically, I cheesed it, but uh, I, I reckon I was just thinking outside the box, to be honest. So let's go in the gallery and see where we placed. So 46. Oh, we're not on the first page. We would have come about there. How are those so. Oh, wow. So maybe doing my arches wasn't the best because this one basically costs the same as mine. Oh, look at that truss. It's got like no parts to it. It's got a bit of tension underneath though. Well, that was me being proud of mine for all the wrong reasons. Let's have a look at the very cheapest one. Oh, <laughs> I thought I cheesed it. They put like a thing on the van so th all the cars go on just one bridge. <laughs> Oh, that is genius. Now, we've then got this one, which is a super efficient truss. And look, they haven't used steel. They've actually used rope in those bottom trusses. They did stop the cars going at once, so just like I did. Uh, yeah, just really, really efficient truss work here. Blimey, guys. All right, anyway, let's go to the last page. My favorite page. Oh, boy. Looks like we've infected this one. So, first off, starch boy. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's been there since February 2022. That is a magnificent feat of engineering, though. That's all I've got to say about that one. There we got this one. Oh, it's actually a recent one. It's been done in December. Oh, Smiley Riley. Hey, <laughs> Cluder by name. Thank you. I think we've got some vibration dampeners down there as well. Very, very effective, though, look. We've got real... Wait, what? Real civil architect what why would you do this they built a horrible arch thing it actually looks quite nice but i know it's a product of architecture we got this one who put an e not an a so good work nora max d uh, look at all the tension underneath they got suspension over the top it's all happening uh, we got this design <laughs> We got double cranes going on. That's actually really cool. I like that. So they're like anchored back there. And then obviously the support comes all the way around. And that's holding the bottom of the bridge. Yeah, decent. We've got a huge wooden arch. That is very, very tasty. Fair play. And look, we've got an idiot that did three arches. Why would you do arches? You know, you don't have to do that. Oh, I feel silly for doing arches now. Anyway, that was fun. Let's go to the next level. We have a nice landing at level four, three. Uh, so what? What the hell do we have here? We got a balloon and then, oh, a very fast car. I mean, why is why is there a balloon in the way? We got two anchors on either side of the river and then the flag's up there. So, so I assume, is the intention to sort of go around the balloon, perhaps land on it upside down and fall down to the flag? I feel like with these sorts of levels, though, you want to go a bit rogue and you probably want to do something a bit like, well, perhaps just like that. That might be enough to get us over that way. It's just whether we can get him onto that bit of road. I'm not actually, I'm not very hopeful about that. All right, well, we've got a very, very rough ramp. Let's see if we can get this guy up there. So we'll zoom it. Oh, dear. <laughs> He went straight through it. And I sort of wonder, though, if I were to, like, go very close, is there any way we can get it? No, I'm not sure. What if we give it, like, a ramp? No. <laughs> <laughs> and you notice there's no springs on this, so there's no give on this level. And we can't build under him, so I think we might have to do this the intended route. Unless we could do perhaps something like that. I just feel like that's probably going to be too steep. I don't know. We'll have a try. So we got this sort of thing. We can add, we can add like more support and stuff. Let's just see. It does hold. It's a bit wobbly. Oh, I tell you what tell you what if that didn't fall perhaps it would have made it so the question is do we need to use this to support ourselves i feel like we 
probably do. So we're going to do the world's longest muscle. Basically, if we just copy that the entire way, then uh, we've supported that quite nicely. So can it get up? It can. Oh, it's just where can it get far enough? All right. So how's that? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So we can get to the flag. We've just got to stop it breaking. Yeah. I feel like best bet is probably just to angle that up a bit. So if we just give it a bit of a rotate. Yeah. Maybe aim for there-ish. So is that any less likely to break? It is. Oh, look at the jump. Uh, we did we did still break though. So we could just make these a little bit wider pretty much. If we offset the bottom, we've then got triangles. Triangles are stronger than squares. So let's see how that works. Oh, still breaks. Still breaks. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, no, we're going too far now. I mean, we did land on it, but... Uh... <laughs> I feel like this can definitely be tweaked. So let's move that down. I... I mean, ideally, I want to aim for all wood. All right, so I've shortened this quite a lot. And look, it actually, it drives up the balloon, which gives it a big old kick over that direction. So that's good. Now, can we just replace a lot of this with wood? So let's delete all of that. And then let's truss this thing up. So, oh, that worked. That worked fine. Okay. What if we get rid of that and swap that with just a very small brace down the bottom? Is that enough? No, that wasn't enough. Yeah, but that was. That was enough. Can we then replace this with normal road rather than reinforced? road. It's a lot cheaper. I mean, we can, but we have broken. Yeah, but I think I'm going to rebuild this in wood anyway. Oh, there you go. There you go. That works. Oh, that's really, that's like 10. Okay, let's try and get under 10 grand. I'm pretty sure we can tweak this to get under 10 grand. There you go. 9,900. We land there perfectly, all in wood. How did we do in the gallery? 9,900. Oh, we're on the first page. We are ninth. We're top 10 in the world. Top 10 in the world. So let's have a look at the very cheapest option. What the? Oh, uh, what? He cheesed it. I mean, it's got breaking, so we're not we're not going to have that one. Solution has breaks. Doesn't count. Uh, this one, though. Oh, look, they use... Whoa. They actually used steel, and it was cheap. There, that's pretty much my design. Well, no, it isn't, because I had the big, long arm. So yeah, get rid of that. That's way cheaper. Fair play. Now, actually, look at all these. Mine's the cheapest one with an arm, because look, that one's got an arm. It's the cheapest one with an arm over there. There. It cost 12 grand though. So yeah, all these other ones, they went for steel over an arm. Uh, interesting. Interesting to see. Let's go to the last page and see what people got up to on this. Now, immediately my eyes are drawn to this one because it's got my initials here. <laughs> Was that a, yeah, that is a very curved strong structure, that one. Cheers. Now, that appears to be the thing with all these big ones. I feel like that was the intended solution. Go all the way over the balloon. Oh no. <laughs> It got broken at the end. There was this one that went very close. The truss sort of wraps around the balloon like that. Hey, what? It goes around twice. No, no, three times. It keeps missing. So this is third. Oh, no. Going around a fourth time. And then it got the flag. Oh, that's ridiculous. I love that. Yeah, this is the most expensive one. Wow. Okay, I think it's actually... It's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Just keep going around until you land on the flag. Uh, someone using the mod to get very cool camera angle. It is crazy that this game like is 3D the whole time. Uh, oh man, everyone's doing this triple quadruple loop thing. Wow, this one looks a bit different. Oh look, it's a loop and it goes all the way to the flag. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyway, we're on the next level. Oh no, it's a hydraulic one. Four, four, four sorting. So basically everything goes with hydraulic phases in between. Then E, C, A at the end. So I think the bottom taxi goes, stops there. The middle car goes, stops there. E goes, stops there. And then E goes back. So I think essentially I'm just doing a, a bridge like that with joints either end. So I think it starts there and then we got a hydraulic it to like there. And then we need to hydraulic it to the top. I think that's what we got to do. How are we going to do that? Not sure. But yeah, the important thing is we know what we're doing. Oh, actually, no. No, we, we can't do that because the, the way these hydraulics work, they once they're in, you can select whether they contract or expand, but you can only do it once. You can't say like contract to 33% and then go to 50% like a later phase. Like these phases, you choose whether they're on or off. Oh, no. Okay, so I do need, I need multiple bridges, I think. But uh, let's just try and get this first one to work first. So if I do that, lock that in, contract 50%, that might actually work. So I don't think I ever want that to be disconnected. But yeah, right. So first bridge, taxi gets up fine. And what I'm hoping is this will get pulled up to the right level that that car can go across. No, it went too high. I mean, actually, actually, it's probably way better to do like, try and learn what I learned before, Matt. You want to do small, small little hydraulics. Although the downside of doing it this side is that we've made like a cantilevered bridge. So it's not going to be very strong when this guy drives on. So hydraulic back to the other side. All right. So I think this one works. Goes to the right height. Doesn't break. But then we just need a 
bridge for that one. Uh, so what I'm thinking we bridge, we can probably just copy this, shove it there. But I will just go through this hydraulic controller and basically turn this off every time until that one. All right, so let's see how this works then. So does this still fit underneath? That's my sort of main concern. Yep, fits. Okay, so now this should come down. Poop. I, uh, I forgot to lock the hydraulic to the thing, so it literally just let go. Anyway, back to the same stage as before. There you go. That's coming down. Oh, it's pretty low. So the question is, taxi gets down. Can it get back up? Oh, no. Okay, so if I want this to go a little bit lower, I think all I need to do is raise that node a bit. So look, now when this comes down, it should settle oh, a lot lower. Not quite as low as I thought it would be. Will the taxi break it? Oh, it does still break it. You absolute knob, mate. So just keep moving this point up. This isn't trial and error. This I'm using advanced calculations here. All right, and then there's no lump there. There is no lump. Yes. Yes, it didn't break. It didn't break. Okay, so now, now the hydraulic should go up, right? Oh, wait, no. Oh, it doesn't go back to where it came from. He ends up, oh, he ends up on the middle. Okay, so I've just got to do some hydraulic fiddling. So middle car, come across. You stop there. Top car, you come down. Stop there. All the hydraulics do what I want. You've got to go to the middle. Yes. Then that back down. You've got to go to the top. Yes, that's working. So then they both go... You go down to the bottom. We actually did it. We did it. I literally don't care about the price. 12,969. Nice. Out of our 20 grand budget. Where does that put us in the gallery? Oh, it's not looking good. We're on page... Oh, we're on page five. We're in the bottom half. I'm not surprised though. I'm a civil engineer, not a mechanical engineer. We don't do movements in our industry. Oh, I mean, we do We do like poo. We're not, we're not weird. Never mind. Right. So the cheapest solution... How? How? <laughs> What? Oh, I always feel so dumb when I look at the cheap hydraulic solutions. Uh, they've all pretty much done the same thing. I mean, we gotta we gotta have points for the, the structural integrity of that one, right? There's an efficient way of doing it. We knew that shape would be involved. Oh, I don't like it when it goes up that high. To the last page. Oh, there's only one on the last page. Oh, the double dong solution. Oh, ow. <laughs> it, oh, it's the bending. Ow. Oh, it hurts to watch. Ow. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of solutions where people used three bridges. A little bit excessive, but I mean, if it works, it works. And what is this one? We've got four, five hydraulics. How is this going to work? Whoa. <laughs> What? That must have been so much work just to get it to do that. Now we got this one. What is going on there? Oh, it literally pulls straight up. So those big cables, they're just to have a point up there so that you can raise and lower that to the right height. I feel like that's how I would have done it. Like, I was going to say several years ago, probably like a month ago. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do hydraulics as best I can. They're hard. They're hard. Okay. Now we do have someone did my little name though. So we'll give them credit for that. Anyway, on to the next level. Four, five, double monster jump. I think they're going to jump over each other. All right. So we've got, we've got an anchor point down in the rocks. So it should be pretty easy to do this one, I think. Oh, looking on the right, actually, that one's lower than that one. So I think the left one, we want that to be a, a higher jump. The one on the right probably wants to jump underneath. So I reckon we'll just do like a little truss like that. Do a little thing like that. Same on this side. And then I guess as long as they hold the monster trucks, one on the right might fail. I know they both worked. So slightly bigger jumps. And then I'm not sure how much engineering is going on here. I'm just tweaking the roads until we make the jumps. But also don't collide in the air. So that one is making it. One on the left, not so much. Right, this, this isn't working. We need, we need the power of engineering in here. So give me a second while I figure this one out. Yep, we may be over budget now, but with the power of structural engineering, we have finally completed it without any breaks. Oh, that was brutal that level let's have a look at the cheap option so oh 36 grand that's still quite a lot of money to be fair it's a 40 grand budget i think oh, i just realized i was sorted by a most recent uh, which does give me the chance to show this one strongest shapes <laughs> uh, yeah you did you did miss a g out there mate but uh <laughs> the intent was there, so that's good. Anyway, the actual cheapest solution... Oh, yeah, it's just glitches. Of course it is. The cheapest using bridges is this 21 grand. Still quite expensive. Did it all in wood. That must have taken so much tweaking. Look how long the uh, the jumps are as well, by the way. So, yeah, pretty much all of these are going... Oh, what is that? Whoa. How'd they get red behind them? I want to get red behind me. That's cool. They all look very efficient on the right there. I don't think that's intended. Look at the amount of springs because they land on the bridges this time. We got this person who built a bridge the entire way across. <laughs> oh, two bridges all the way across. 
fair enough. This one again, does that have two bridges? No, just one bridge with a jump. Oh my goodness. That's like from a film where the bridge is collapsing behind them, but they make it anyway. And then aside from that, just loads and loads of jumps that must have taken ages. Actually, mine's more expensive than this one. So yeah, we appear on the last page. We've become one of them. Right, anyway, next time we'll be taking on the level crisscross. It looks like this. But for now, I'll say peace, love. And hopefully there'll be no more songs at the start of the videos again, because I'm guessing you guys get really annoyed. But if you're not, let me know in the comments. Bye!